Apple Studio is one of the most popular DAWs for artists, producers, and engineers, but it gets a lot of flack in the music community for the recording section of it. The reason is because historically, a lot of big studios and big engineers have always used Pro Tools or sometimes Logic because that's what they grew up on. FL Studio was always seen as a producer heavy doll, and you wouldn't really hear a lot of engineers and artists use FL Studio for the recording section. But throughout the years, FL Studio has continued to improve, and in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy and simple it is to record professional vocals in FL Studio. So let's go ahead and get into it. So now that we're in FL Studio, we have a blank project and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a template for every time you want to record, you don't have to set, set this whole thing up again. Every single artist, every single engineer that uses Pro Tools, Logic or whatever DAW has a template that they go to just to make the recording part easier. Because if you're setting this up every single time, it's going to add time to the whole process and delay you. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to set this up and how you can also save this as a default template. But first things first, before you even start touching anything, go into your options, hit audio. So what we want to do here is turn down our buffer length down to the lowest possible millisecond that our computer can handle. So mine can handle around three to four milliseconds when I'm recording. But if you're just mixing your track, then you can turn it up all the way. But the reason why you want to turn it down to the lowest possible millisecond is because when we're recording, we don't want delay and latency. And basically delay and latency will throw off your whole track and make it just sound a mess. Then the next thing you want to do is select your interface. I'm using the Scarlet Solo. So I'll select that. And now we can begin crafting our template. So click insert one right here and right click it. Select the first option, rename. Let's rename it to beat. Right. And then now we can color it. So right click again and then hit color and let's change it to like a brown. All right. Cool. And then next thing you want to do is assign it to a new audio track. So basically what that does is when you go to your, your playlist, you'll see that it says beat as the first track, which basically means that it's routed to your first insert. So if you want to change the volume or you want to add plugins, you can do that on the on the insert. So to make it a little bit more organized, I'm going to dock it to the left. So basically right click this, go down to dock two and then click left. So now it's next to our master and it's a little bit more organized. Right, so now that we have our B insert squared away, let's move on to our vocals. So click insert two and do that same thing again, but just rename it to vocals. So I'm going to right click it, hit rename and let's type main for our main vocals and let's color it blue, late blue. And also, if you want to, you could add an icon. So click icon if you want to. And then let's go to microphone. Now we have our main vocal insert. And you also want to assign it to a new track. So you can see on the playlist, it's now assigned to the second track. So whenever we record, you'll see it right here. So it's starting to look a bit more organized. But let's say that we wanted to add doubles or ad libs or reverb and delay basically you do that same thing again but you just rename it or you could also copy and paste your main so for instance if i wanted to add ad lib and i wanted to keep the same plugins i would right click it hit file go to save mixer track as and then click and drag it to another insert and you'll see that it just copied it and now you can rename it so let's say ad libs so now we have main ad libs and you can change the color Ray, cool. And you can also assign this to new audio track. So now we have it in our playlist. So another way you could also do that whole thing again is if you go to your playlist and you go to a track, right click it, hit track mode, go to audio track and select an insert. So say I wanted to have a doubles insert. Just click any insert and then rename it. So let's say doubles. And then you can also color it. Let's color it like dark olive green. Cool. And then now it should be routed to the 11th insert. Yep. So you see that we have doubles at our 11th insert. So that's just another way of doing it. If you don't want to do it this first way, pretty much now we can start the recording process if you wanted to. So let's find a beat and let's see what we can record. So I'm going to type in future type beat. Let's try to find a beat that we like. Yeah, so, so that's cool, that's cool. Let's go ahead and download it and load it into FL. So I got my beat loaded up in FL on my beat track 
And first things first is we need to get the tempo. So sometimes to produce, we'll put the tempo in the description as well as the key. But if not, you could hit this little icon and then hit the tech tempo. And let's say that it's around 120, 100 to 200. So click that and it'll usually give us an accurate BPM. And whenever you get an MP3, make sure you go all the way to the start and get rid of this little silence. So after you've done that, it should now be on time. Yeah, so sounding good. And then I'm gonna actually take this down a couple of decibels. Let's take it down like five decibels. So now that we got that squared away, all we need to do now to start recording is either load up a preset or build a preset from scratch. So since this isn't a mixing video, I'm going to go ahead and load in my future preset, but you guys are free to use any preset you want. Or if you want this preset as well as others, it's available on my website, but let's go ahead and load that up. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you guys want to save this as a preset, so you don't have to do this whole thing again, go to your file, hit save as template, type in a name, and then just click the check mark. All right, so I loaded in my future preset, and all you need to do now is arm your recording track. So basically what that means is, if you wanna hear yourself, go to your main insert, click the none right here, and then click the insert that you have your mic routed to. So my mic is routed to input one. So click, click that, that, and, and now, now I'm able to hear myself. myself. So you could do it that way or you could also go to your playlist and hit the little circle right here. So you, you do, do that, that, it's the same thing. thing. <laughs> cool, so now we can basically record something. So let's see what we can record. Cool. So now that we've laid down our main, we can make ad libs. So if you like how your main sounds and you basically just want to copy it to your ad libs and make a few adjustments, all you do is right click, hit file, click and drag that to your ad libs. And now you can rename that again and change the color if you want. Change it like a dark scion. You can, you can record right, right there. there. <laughs> for ad libs. So, so I'm going to be using my stock feature Avs preset for this, but you can use any preset you want. Just go to Avs. So just like that, you've pretty much recorded a track and, and now all you need to really do now is the mixing part. And like I said, since this is a recording video, I'm not going to go over the mixing. I'm going to play what we just made. And if you guys would like to get anything in this video, it's available on my website. And if you guys want to see a mixing video, comment down below and I'll make a mixing video to show you guys how I come up with these presets and how you guys can also make your own preset. But without further ado, let's play this. <laughs> Metro, Metro, Metro. 